Welcome to Saturday Showcase presented by Five Hour Energy. It's the top two teams in the Big West preseason poll going mano a mano tonight. UC Irvine and UC Santa Barbara. That preseason poll wasn't for Santa Barbara in white. And this time using half turnover to 20 that we have now off of a missed shot. Look at first possession and you can see the intensity, not trying to give an inch. That's the strength right there. Coach Turner has had. You got to be ready inbound. mentally too. Sorry, Adrian. They swipe the inbound. Fast break. Brad Green lays it in for a four nothing lead. There, Evan Leonard setting things up for the big man. Good start for UC Irvine. Seven and one in conference play. Second straight year they've gone through the first half of conference with only one loss. Block at the rim, but a foul is coming. He was really going through it emotionally, but he's too good. Wave it off, say there was a... Like what Green is doing, running the floor hard. The missed shot coming down, and so has to occupy him. Big 55 in blue, running the floor hard. Freeman steps inside the arc. The Oklahoma transfer. Score points a little easy. It gets your motor going. Start rebounding in areas outside of where you are defending. Foul, but he's going to knock it down. You don't want to give away possessions against a tough defensive. Facing Brad Green. Leonard goes two for about three minutes gone by here inside the Thunderdome. Mm -hmm. see Irvine, the defending champs in the Big West Conference after an historic 31 and 6 season that saw him make it to round two of the NCAA tournament after beating Kansas State in the opener. So ditches it off to Cyrus. Five on the shot clock. Heidegger out near midcourt. Let's it go to Soane. And he got it off into the Career scores, so they also have the balance with some veteran scoring prowess. Oftentimes at the quote-unquote mid-major level, so drops it in. Oh, okay. They had a nine-point lead with two minutes left, something like that. Dude comes back. Oh, heartbreaking loss. <laughs> Got to finish 40 minutes. That's going to be the story of this game. Got to play it out for 40 minutes. And Freeman. 7-0 run right now for the Gauchos. Make it 9-0. Just formerly known as Ron Artest. <laughs> I'm glad I was retired before he played. 6'7", 235 pounds, and not afraid to fight through picks. He was tough as nails. World champion, too. Bob down low, lead ahead. Gets it back. Didn't hit this. The Gauchos are clicking on both ends of the floor right now. The game is fun to them. They're moving freely. Everyone is acting and reacting in sync. That'll stop the bleeding to Isaiah Lee. Anteaters want to run. Love the ball movement. Two well-coached teams. Now you're in the jump hook, you're in the kill zone. Good shot, that's a good shot. Hold a three-point lead. 12-10 left in the opening half. Sam Farber, Adrian Branch here with you in the Thunderdome on the central coast of California. Watch that again. One-on-one -on -one coverage, one-two dribbles, jump hook of open for a teammate. Back down That's to Brad pass. Green. That jump hook is working. He's got eight. Swing it around. They let him get a deeper post touch, and Green took advantage of that. We're seeing good basketball on both ends of the floor, Sam. Watch the dunk. So, oh I don't want a piece of Amadou So. There was no letdown, no backup from UC Irvine. In the picks. NBA, they call it a business decision. <laughs> Step that one out. But this is going to be a 40-minute, like you said, grudge match. Something's got to give. This is a well-played, competitive game. Now, the good thing about the Anteaters, as soon as their opponent scores, they're back probing the defense. They're making you guard both sides of the floor. Look at that ball movement. Look at the spacing. Brad Green, one-on-one -on -one with Amadou So. Lost the handle on the hook. Rutherford recovers and puts it in. You're going against a veteran team. You've got to play it out 
physically just as well as mentally. So you've got to be all in. Five guys. And both teams are doing the same thing, spreading the floor, looking for scoring opportunities. Lachlan is going to head to the line. Corey McLaughlin, an 80% free field goal percentage, assist scoring, free throw percentage. Again. Good news for UC Irvine. They've got a plethora of bigs to turn to. Austin Johnson, a freshman from Marietta, Georgia, checked in. First time we're seeing the zone. Coach Turner, disciple of Mike Montgomery, mixes up the offense. Joseph set up their offense, leading 20 to 14, 11 minutes in. Ramsey from the free throw line. When you practice well and you feel the success and then rewarding the benefits of your effort, you can see everyone enjoying this right now. The white jerseys are really enjoying their success of playing hard and trying to contend and contest shots. Asu Worku, this point lead for UC Santa Barbara. Eight minute mark, and it seems like every possession has been a battle. <laughs> every, every possession has been a grudge match, Sam. Three on the way. Yes. Worn down and get out of position. So I'm going to keep an eye on if there's any slippage. Ramsey. tier team they're the number two in the conference and when you're able to really make a statement against a top team you're seeing the carryover effect belt collects down low nice look to Johnson who's got an and one opportunity makes it a, a power layup Low to show. Double team coming. And he turns it over. Interception for Evan Leonard. And he ran into his own screener. Collision on the sideline. No call. Here comes Ramsey. And he'll head to the line. Turner, head coach of UC Irvine, has just been assessed a technical foul. Max Heidegger is going to shoot two. With concussions, knocked him out of the five row shooter. Now, this has been a well referee. Challenged out here. Every possession's been challenged. Look at the white jerseys now extending pressure. Irvine with several players on the bench in foul trouble, including Greg Green, who had eight points early. Got to find another scoring option now. Worku with the drive. Colin Belt, their leading scorer off the bench. Over the top, our test open for three. Yes. That well. <laughs> Nice shot. They can fix those nets down the other end as well. That's what you know. It's a good one. That was a good one. Put the net up like that. Down low to Edan and a foul again against an anteater bid. ACC. I got much love for Coach Hamilton of Florida State. In conference, never to go to the championship game or something. Last down. Irvine on the season, they are number one in the country in rebounding margin, plus 10 per game, but Santa Barbara is even with the Anteaters so far in this contest. Good ball movement. Well, almost got the steal, so the recovery. Fire it up for three. And we are watching. We've seen the three-point shot. We've talked about him in the open. He is expressing himself in the form of rebounding, shooting, defending, and competing tonight. Offensive board, Johnson in the putback. Both teams have been playing like a battering ram. Irvine with Green and Rutherford starting the second half. Both sat significant portions of the opening 20 minutes with a couple of fouls apiece. 
Santa Barbara in white, Irvine in blue. Top two teams in the Big West preseason poll. Meeting for the first time this year in Santa Barbara. 11-point lead after the first half. Beat the rebound. Lachlan. Behind the back to the corner. Freeman. Damn. They have put themselves in a position to be heard tonight. The white jerseys are attacking, taking the game to conference's leading score, seven and one, and they're making them look uncomfortable in this half. Kick out, three on the way. Leonard answers. Still trailing by 14. On the road this season, Anteaters only six and eight. But in conference, they've just been a dominant team all season long. Another juice goes down for Now Aker Jr. running the floor. Hoist, and he'll head to the line. Second, because Coach Turner will not allow his guy. The guy's not occupying the same space. It's them both. Still a 14-point advantage for UC Santa Barbara. Lost four in a row to UC Irvine. been consistently one of the top teams in the conference during that span. Speaking of the Gauchos, down low, Cyrus. Offensive board, put back, yes! So has a good feel for the defense right now. Moving without the ball, chasing and tracking it down, tough shot. That one goes down! We showed you guys in your NBA uniforms because you unfortunately did not meet at college. Major yeah. universities didn't have But that to was play. my best year as a pro. You know, I played with Clyde Drexler. I don't remember who the head coach was, but uh, I love the teammates. Don't worry. Names you're mentioning. What does it say to you when these great players get his points come the end of the night one way or the other? Yeah, when well, you think about it, he's the full score. He's always going to be guarded. Now, he's going to have to play with a sense of urgency and he's got to match the aggressiveness that the white jerseys are attacking him with. His scoring opportunity for him. Help ducks inside, lay in goes, and Colin He's not out. taking a bad shot. What is he, one for eight in this game, but he's not taking a bad shot. He just has not been able to score it consistently so far. Look at the spacing and the ball movement. Both teams are committed to play for one another. Lachlan trying to lob it to show. Four on the shot clock. Cyrus fading away, baseline J. No, rebounded by Austin Johnson. Now steal back, Cyrus with a swipe. McLaughlin, Euro step, and he'll go to the line. For his effort, shot under 20% yeah. from the field in two head-to-head -head meetings. But he One more here for McLaughlin. Heidegger back in. Yasu Worku is in for UC Irvine. Now, if I'm Velp, I'm going to still look for my offense because he moves well, and he's still getting, the offense is getting him good shots. Be confident, knock that thing down when you get your opportunity. Belt. Fake on the three, the drive, and a swat by Amit Duso. Show the pump fake. Now he goes over so and gets the roll. Don't give away any possessions. Sophomore out of prolific prep in Napa. All conference a season ago as a freshman in preseason all conference selection, playing up to his talent level tonight against the number one team in the conference, UC Irvine. Brad Green backs him down, however. Because you've got a power player that had four power dribbles. You've got to run at him, see if he'll pick it up, see if he'll change the direction of the ball. Lachlan, mid-range jumper, and a foul is going to go. Lachlan back to the line. Big team. Fortunately for Irvine, you know the basketball is paramount. Santa Barbara's gone five and a half minutes without a made field goal. Irvine's calling card is field goal percentage defense. They're turning it up here in the second half. Santa Barbara led by 11 at halftime. They lead by 11 at the midway mark here in the second half. Running. That's a better job of trying to run at him, forcing him out. Big possession again for the blue jerseys. Can they get 
to the free throw line and continue to close the gap. To try to slug it out. Remember in the first half, they were breathing hard. Now the pace has slowed down, and it favors the blue jerseys. Heidegger fading away. Yes! Heidegger, but that was a big bucket. Timely baskets, nothing cosmetic. It's one thing to score 20 points, but they're cosmetic baskets. They weren't meaningful. These have been meaningful points by both teams. Eight and a half minutes left. Leonard missed the three. Rutherford, the oh offensive God. board. Now Worku rises. He missed. Offensive board green. And he puts it in. We got the best seats in the house. One of the best locales in the country. Just a stone's throw away from the Pacific Ocean here inside the Thunderdome on the campus of UC Santa Barbara. Tommy Rutherford rolls inside and makes it a five. Irvine, the tempo slowed down. That favors them. You start to reel them in, and now UC Santa Barbara has to throw caution to the wind and continue to attack. See if So can get a touch. Deflection, Rutherford diving on the floor. Irvine comes away with it. Fast break, three on one. Reverse lane, it's good, and it's a one possession. Between Fresno State and UNLV might be coming down to the wire here again on the West Coast. The home team got that one, didn't they? Nice shot, nice. Shooting or making their free throws if they get fouled. Look at the blue jersey sitting down, ready to act and react. Top 10 in the nation in field goal percentage defense they are the Anteaters of UC Irvine. McLaughlin got a good look, good finish, but oh, so with the put back on arms. And that opened the rebound lane for So. 19 points for Amadou So. Coming off the career high 30 the other day against Hawaii. Pick and roll, Brad Green puts it through. Now I would expect make the extra pass now and get himself on the low block or try to get in for one or two triples in a shot. Phelps got to look to score. Ability, and I'm so happy for this young man that yeah. Both free throws favors UC Irvine. It's half court. They now have half court scoring options and they have 1,000 point scores out there in the blue jerseys that play with poise. Look at the spacing and the discipline. One of those 1,000 point scores work with the miss. board for Green. Spectacular with his, but you see Green. Oh, that was a haymaker at the free throw line. And an offensive rebound for Edgar. Good patience, not in a hurry. Leonard drains the jumper. For the leadership, who's going to take Santa Barbara and have a will to win? Who's going to come in with clutch, clutch baskets against the number one team in conference? Heidegger fouled on the drive. And he will be going to the line to shoot one and one. He's in double figures coming into tonight, but he's been held to six points. Free throw shooter, 84% at the line. It's Heidegger as well. If he gets himself an open look, let's see if he lets his hands go. Kicks it out. Freeman for three. Offensive board so and the putback. No, but he'll go to the line with a chance to take. Ties it up. Out here, your best playmakers on both teams. Watch the screen and roll. And then watch Heidecker with a pin down. Foul on Evan Leonard will put Heidegger at the line. 9% free throw shooting team. And they don't get in 2020. Selfishly, I want to see a little overtime. Let's see a little overtime, Sam. 
a three-second game clock, shot clock differential. I don't think Irvine's going to go that far. They trail by two. Yeah, you see Irvine. They're trying to get to green. He's going to go to go. Four for four this half from the line. See if Heidegger can get to that free throw line. Inbound to DeVerle Ramsey, and he... These free throws, I look for them to not let them get a three-point shot up. Nice shot. Both. Leonard for the tie. Missed it. Long rebound. Worker lets it go. And it is all over. You see Santa Barbara has knocked off UC Irvine. An instant classic.